Hi folks, Zlat is here, and this is Zoom B3 effects pedal. Let's go! <laughs> This little guy is all in one box. In a such small unit you got three switchable bass effects, including amps and caps, tuner, metronome and drum machine, looper and audio interface ability. Isn't it great for a such size and price? On the front side we have three LCD screens with the foot switches and some parameter knobs for each effect. Those are really easy to use and it's very simple to tweak your sound on flight. Comparing it to another zoom pedals, you have only three active effects at the same time, while smaller and cheaper B1 on has up to five effects. The new B3N model has up to seven effects, and they are from the new library. But it doesn't work like a sound card, and the most strange thing, it doesn't have XLR out that is so important for bass players. So, if you don't need more than three effects, but you want to record through a bass pedal and you need XLR out to send your sound chain directly to Sound Engineer, your choice is standard B3 model. So let's talk about effects. There is no reason to show you each one. You can find such videos on YouTube. I'll just tell you my experience. The most of effects are replicas of famous pedals. The best function, I think, is plenty of effects have blend knob and you can adjust your dry signal along with effect. Also, you are able to mix the whole preset sound with your direct bass. I like preamps and compressors here, but for example, DBX compressor and Avalon U5 preamp, which I like so much, doesn't sound like original ones. Anyway, you can tweak them and get the sound you want. Situation with distortions is much better. There are plenty of them. Big Muff, MXR Bass DI, Sensam Bass Driver, Boss ODB3, and so on. I compared original Sensam and MXR with Zoom, just head to head, and they sound the same. The synth story is pretty bad. If the filters are nice, most of the things have really bad tracking. But if you have some not so fast line, it can sound very well.
reverbs, choruses, delays, phases and flanges sounds great. I can't tell anything bad about it. There are plenty of such effects and sometimes it's even difficult to choose. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is my favorite part. Almost useless effects. Check it out. and caps. Most of the time they change the game and you really hear what they do, but sometimes it doesn't give a dramatic effect you're expecting. Anyway, you should tweak your sound and get the result. Looper feature is awesome. You can record long phrases, overplay only different lines. You can use it while drum machine is playing. You can change your effects and patches real time. There are 41 drum beats, but I think they sound too simple. B3 and drums sounds much better and they have drum feels, so it sounds more like a real drummer. point I like the most. Holding foot switch, you are able to just bypass pedal and tune or mute everything. Red and green lights are built-in knobs and it shows the tune just perfectly. And what about audio interface? It's really cool that you can play a gig with your pedal and take it for recordings without any additional gear, just all in one. I had a bunch of recordings for myself and for different projects. And I should say, I am not disappointed at all. I didn't have any problems with the signal I recorded. I've been using Zoom B3 for over a year, and I should say it's a pretty good pedal. Mostly I would recommend it for those who are new in multi-effects, but even pro guys can find some great features inside. Yeah, some sounds are not so good, switching between effects isn't so comfortable, signal chain is not enough sometimes, but anyway, it's a really cheap device and it has so many functions. Thanks for watching my video. Press thumb up if you like it, subscribe to my channel, see you soon.